What if I had like no hair? It was good. If I had, if I cut my hair. Thank you. Thank you, but I'm asking a question, bro. Like what the? I, my I thought you. Was, I thought you were talking about if I would. I thought you were talking about if I would have cut my hair, or you were talking about like in general, I look good. Yeah. Oh, in general. <laughs> Yo, Yo, word to my mother, why y'all like this? I ain't gonna say every female from NY is this aggressive. You ain't never really dealt with aggression until you dealt with a female from New York. I know I be putting New York on a pedestal sometimes, yes, but I am being... Honestly, that ain't even a pedestal. Because when you come out here to the South... I gotta tread lightly. Because my wife from New York. Let me, let me go ahead and talk to y'all, bro. When you come out here to the South... And you deal with these these southern bells, my boy. It is so much different. But at the same time, in the bedroom, that's where y'all aggression shine. You feel me? When you taking her to Stroke City and you in there baby stroking, and she come out and say, the fuck is you doing? Nigga? Hit that shit. Ooh. I seen a skit where they was talking about how New York females be having sex. And Shorty was in there and she like, take my life. Take my life. <laughs> Today we're making fried snake. Ah! <laughs> All that shit happened so fast. Ain't no way. There is no way. I ain't even hitting the bag off of that. I don't know how comfortable I'll be eating my dinner after it done peed on me. I'm not built like that. I'm not built like that. The last line of defense before you hit my pot is you peeing on me. You got it. You earned yourself your freedom. Serve it with some fried okra. Tastes like chicken. Today we're making fried snake. Serve it with some fried okra. Tastes like chicken. Let me say something. I'm going to say something right quick. Imagine dating her. She out here frying snakes that done peed on her. They're about to do what grown folks do. And she talking about she don't suck no... <laughs> Woo! My boy came through like he was in the dunk contest. <laughs> what you call that, a windmill? Damn. Oh, he got the hell on. Hey, I remember this video. When y'all be talking about sassy, that's sassy. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't the sassiest road rage incident I've seen, I don't know what else is. But I did see the beginning part of this video. And she started it. She threw a cup at his car. Or she threw it. He was outside of his car and she threw a cup at him. And then he ran back and did that. That's why it'd be important to have context when you look at certain videos. You feel me? Because that shit right there just make him look like he's the bad guy. But no, she started that. She threw a cup at him and... My man came back and hit her with that. Uh, Bro, is it me or did the bullet like fly past her hair? The bullet literally just went through her hair, bro. Son, this is what I be talking about. I don't care how gangster you think you are because you're willing to pull a gun out and let bullets fly. To me, you pussy. That's just how I feel. One more inch over and that would have been her life. And I guarantee you she had nothing to do with whatever situation transpired for bullets to start flying. So she would have just been an innocent bystander. If your first instinct is to pull out a strap, you pussy. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with losing a fight, bro. There's nothing wrong. The crazy thing is, if y'all look at some of y'all, the 
the gangster rappers who be promoting shit like this, them niggas can't fight. They can't fight. Stuff like this get me so angry. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look how easy this is, bro. Look, look, look how easy this is. Look, jab, cross, hook. You see how easy that is? There's nothing wrong with losing a fight, bro. There is nothing wrong with losing a fight. Nothing. To be quite honest with you, all you gotta do is, is learn how to do this for three minutes. Most fights last about 10 seconds. So guess what? There's a chance that whoever you fighting, he gonna gas out. But you know what? I get it. To some extent, I get it, bro. Because you might be willing to throw hands and the next person might not be willing to do that. And he might shoot you. You feel me? That's what happened to King Von. The one time King Von decided he wanted to throw hands, he gets shot. So, I get it. You don't understand how amazing it'd be to get in that ring, bro, and settle your differences, and then shake your opponent's hand afterwards. Amazing. It's an amazing feeling. When I was growing up in New York, like, if you had differences with somebody, bro, you threw hands. If you was playing basketball and a nigga fouled you too hard, and y'all got to arguing, nigga, what's up? That was it. And that was it, bro. Y'all threw hands and that was it. Now I'm up pride, so your pride get hurt. Now you want to shoot everything. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. How old are you? I'm 24. I'm 22. I'm 22. You lady single? No. Yes. No. How long you had that man? I'm going to say four years. What do you mean I'm going to say four years? We have a daughter together. We've been committed for six months. I moved out here for, so we've been committed. So hold on, hold on. Let's rewind. You've known him for four years. Okay. You have a daughter together now. Yes. And you're just officially dating. All right, I thought I was tripping. Months? I thought I was tripping. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. <laughs> so when did your daughter come? Two years ago. But y'all were never together throughout that whole period? We were so it was like a situation ship where y'all were just talking? It, it was definitely a situation ship. Why didn't you choose to like just go the co-parenting route and date someone else who you know you didn't have that much baggage with? Because I love him. I do. When even when it was a situation ship and when I got pregnant, I still loved him. And we had a connection. And I felt like it would work. And I was just waiting for him to take responsibility. How old are you? I don't feel as there's no more to be added in that. She said because I loved him. I respect that. I respect that. I wonder if he was like the side nigga that got her pregnant. And um, you know what? Let me not add negative things. Hmm. Nah, she probably would have said that. Situationships be weird. Because a situationship, that means that y'all are just... You feel what I'm saying? Y'all just doing what adults do. But y'all are not committed to each other. So he's dating somebody, you dating somebody. And it's, you know, sometimes, sometimes you might actually be in a relationship with somebody and your situation gets you pregnant. I wonder if that's what happened. It's unsolved mysteries, bro. But, uh, doom, 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 doom. Is that unsolved mysteries or is that motherfucking law and order? I think that's law and order. What is unsolved mysteries? Hold on, cuz. I knew that shit. Oh, I knew that shit was fire. Wait, wait, wait. I know there may be a lot of men and a lot of women that may just be a little upset with what I'm about to say, but that's okay because I'm gonna say it anyways. Why are we so shocked at the video that we've seen of Diddy and Cassie? Why are we so shocked? Didn't we see Ike do Tina like this for many years? No matter how talented that woman was, no matter how many sold out shows she was able to pull off as an individual, she still took the abuse of a wealthy, powerful man. She still stayed and took the abuse. And a lot of you guys want to believe that many of these women are afraid of these men and they are afraid of their lives. I'm here to tell you, in many cases, and I want to say about 95% of the cases that takes place with wealthy men and women. I know what she's going to say. She's going to say she didn't want to leave because of the lifestyle that Diddy was providing. And that's what I said when I 
first was talking about the situation, but then I changed my mind after seeing the video. I'm not going to lie. A lot of these women are more afraid of losing the lifestyle than afraid of losing their own lives. I don't want you guys coming in the comment section saying, you are totally disregarding women who are being abused. No, I am never disregarding the women who are being abused. I absolutely hate it. I think it is disgusting. But what I am chosen to talk about is the women who chose to stay and be abused for many years and are being abused by wealthy men who are in power. Because there is a reason that you chose to stay. There's a reason. And however you guys want to put it and whatever you all want to believe, women take more shit from men who have money than they will ever take from a man who has none. That's facts. And if That's you don't believe that, baby, keep living. You haven't learned enough. That's a fact. And ladies, as much as I love y'all, I need y'all to stay on beat when I'm talking. Because it's very seldom that I cut corners whenever I say something. Y'all want to come in the comment section always and turn whatever somebody's saying that sounds too much like right into what you want it to be. I said this equation involves a beautiful, talented young lady and a very powerful, wealthy man. This equation is not involving a broke man. That's not what I'm talking about. That's a different topic for another time, not today. So stay on me. Now, before I let y'all go, this video is just simply coming from a woman who knows a lot about life who have been through a lot of shit in life, who have also seen a lot in her life from men who have money and power. So I know what's able to be done. I just hate the fact that you guys don't know. And see, if we have more women in the world who's bold enough to hold other women accountable, a lot of bullshit will be stopped. And if we had a lot of men who were strong enough to hold other men accountable, a lot of their bullshit will also stop. But unfortunately, we don't. Everybody runs away from what's right and what's the truth. And as I always say, the truth is not popular. Just always make sure you practice it with yourself. First off, she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. And remember what I was saying about that Southern... Yeah. But anyway, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was feeling like that. And to an extent, I still felt like she stayed to take the abuse because of how powerful Diddy was. But that doesn't make the abuse okay. To be quite honest with you, I do feel as though she was scared. If you hear the way certain people talk about Diddy, I probably would have been scared too. They were talking about Diddy blowing up Kid Cudi's car. There's still rumors that Diddy had something to do with Biggie and Tupac dying. I don't know how true that is. I do know some old heads who was from New York. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't even gonna do that. That's, yeah, I ain't gonna do that. But all I'm saying, bro, is regardless of why somebody stayed, we should never turn a blind eye to the abuse. I bet your bestie and you have the same type. Me in the room or her man type. All right, this is what I'm going to say. You're, you're beautiful. Obviously, you have a nice body. The content is whatever the content is. But have you guys noticed that the majority of the content on the internet is women showing off their body with voiceovers or with music playing in the background? Like, there's literally no creative direction for the content. You feel me? There's no substance in the content. It's literally, here's my body, and I'm going to just play this music. So you ain't really come to learn nothing. You just came to see a free peep show. And you know what? Let me not complain because those videos have been making my thumbnails. <laughs> let's let's just start there. Those videos, a lot of those videos have been making my thumbnails because this going to be my thumbnail. So thank you, young lady. But at the same time, I just wish y'all would add more things. Like I'm pretty sure you're capable of way more than just showing us your body. 